Hi, I'd like to show you how you create a Google Calendar that's embeddable somewhere else. So you're looking at my calendar here in Google Calendar itself, this is part of my Gmail service. Uh, but I'd like to make this calendar appear elsewhere. In other words, embed it on an, a blog or a site somewhere else so that people can see some certain details. And of course I can control those details through calendar layer visibility and all that sort of stuff. But um, let me just show you how you put it elsewhere. So first of all, I'm going to give you two examples. One is, here's a Google site and I'd like to embed a calendar here. And secondly, here is a blogger blog, and I'd like to embed the calendar there as well. And there's two slightly different techniques for doing that. So first of all, I want you to notice that this calendar has a number of secondary calendars, or layers I call them, um, that involve different things. And I'd like to include the work layer, the conference layer, and the holiday layer on a calendar that goes somewhere else. So let's do sites first. So let's go over to this Google site, open this page up for editing. And so I can go in here where my, where my cursor is flashing here. And in Sites, it's really easy because it's actually built in. Of course, they're both Google tools, of course. So I go Insert. I have a Calendar option here. I choose Calendar. And it brings up my list of calendars. And here's all the different calendars I actually have. Uh, and I said I wanted my Work Calendar. So I simply tick that and say Select. And it brings it up here. And I can choose certain settings in here. I can choose how high or how wide. Um, whether I want month view, week view, or agenda view to be the default. Uh, let's just go with month. Um, if I wanted to show a particular time zone, I can do that, uh, but I'm okay with the, the current one. Um, you can determine which other things you want showing on your calendar. I usually turn uh, borders off because it fits on the page nicer, and I don't particularly want the title on it, so I'll turn that off. All right, so you, you pick what you want there, and you simply say save. Now, before you click save, remember I said I want three calendars on here, not just work calendar. So right up here at the top, it says display another calendar. Click that. I get a second chance now to pick another calendar. I wanted conferences. Select that. And you can see it's now added that. And I'm going to put a third one in. And it is the one for holidays. OK, so I have the three conference layers that I want. Again, um, you can determine what you want to show and what you don't want to show and all the different settings, and then say save. And it goes like that. It just shows as a grey blob until you save the page. So just hit save, and there is the Google Calendar showing. And you, as you can see, it has um, the different, uh, the three different layers. So I've got uh, conferences, holidays, and work, all showing on the calendar just like that. Pretty easy. What about over here on Blogger? It's not quite as straightforward here on Blogger because there's no insert calendar option like there was in Sites. But there's still a way to do it. So let me show you. Let me go back over to my calendar. And let me pick one of the layers I wanted to share. So I say this work layer here. And from the little drop down next to the secondary layer for that calendar, you go to Calendar Settings. And when you're in Calendar Settings, there's actually an option here, Embed This Calendar. And you've got actually a little piece of code here, Embed Code. Um, which I'm assuming you know what to do with, but uh, let me show you in case you don't. Uh, now remember, we want three calendars, not one. If I just wanted this one calendar, I could just take that embed code and copy it over and drop it on the page and it would work fine, but I need more than one calendar. So I'm going to click this link here that says Customize the Color Size and Other Options. And it pops up this thing here, and it's, it's the same kind of options we just had on the last page here. Remember I said I want uh, work, conferences, and holidays. And you can see as I pick those, this calendar redraws to give me that particular view that I'm after. Um, some other fine tuning things. Uh, I don't particularly want the border and that's turned off. That's good. Um, I prefer my week to start on a Monday rather than a Sunday, so I could change that. And you see the calendar redraws with the new options. Um, in this particular view, you do need to set both the width and the height. Um, those numbers are fine by me, but uh, just bear that in mind. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm probably going to make that a little bit narrower, 640 by 600, that's fine. Um, and you see it's just a little bit narrower there. And choose what you don't want here. I don't need to show the time zone, it's irrelevant, and I don't need people to see the calendar list. Okay, so you just pick whatever you want. And then up here, you take this block of code, this HTML code, you copy it, and then go over to where you'd like to put it. In this example, we're putting it in Blogger. And I can just paste it in here. Now, don't forget, you normally have to switch to HTML mode when you paste that in. And it goes like that. And then you can switch back to Compose view, and you'll actually see what you've just composed. A little free tip for you is if you go to the options in Blogger, and you choose this thing that says Interpret Typed HTML, you don't actually even need to switch to the HTML mode. 
so long as that interpret HTML uh, is selected, you can actually just drop HTML code directly on the page and it will figure out what to do with it. Uh, but anyway, in, in most cases, you'd want to switch to HTML mode in case you haven't turned that option on. All right, now that's done, we can update. And once we've updated, we can go and view the blog. And you'll see that there is the, here's the t page I created called Calendar. When we switch to that, there is the calendar layer. And you can see why I made it 640, because if I had it 800 like it was originally set, it would be poking way out here into the side panel here. So you do need to sort of do a little bit of math on your page and figure out exactly how wide things need to be. But once you know that, uh, you can make things fit quite nicely. So there you go. That's how you embed a calendar into a site and also into anywhere else on the web. That would work in WordPress. It would work in um, basically anywhere that accepts embed code. All right. Hope that helps.